case three. I can do this one. So we're looking at two shaves, I think, unless they're just shallow punches here. I think shallow um, punches probably, but it's hard to tell sometimes. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, from further out, I feel like the dermis is like a little bit busy kind of approaching the epidermis, but not seeing a ton. I think that's mostly then, here just like solar elastosis that's kind of dark on this, on this stain. It's a, it got a lot of sun damage there. Okay. And then as we're coming in, there's kind of this like unnatural color to a lot of like the vessels and glands where it looks like dark almost like on the rim. Um... And then, yeah, when we're zooming in, you can kind of see these small, like, black granules. Gosh. Um, yeah, sorry, there's a lag on my end, so sorry if I'm not describing No, it. no, it's a, there's a, a lag here, too. I was wondering, I meant to preview this slide specifically to see, like, is it possible to see this on this scan? And the answer is not really not great. Really. There are, like you said, this is one of those things, if you don't know what you're looking for based on the clinical, you will easily look right past this because this, to me, looks at low power like normal skin for an older sun damage patient. The, the abnormality here is that they have sun damage, but for an older person, that's, that's their normal skin for somebody who's old and has sun damage, got a little epidermal atrophy with solar elastosis. But here, the patient's probably described as having a slightly bluish gray tinge to their skin, right? Or maybe a very blue look to the skin. Some people have you know, been described as having a Smurf-like appearance, which I don't think is really necessarily politically correct or, or nice to say. But, ha but in case you've heard of that and you're watching this online, that's a term that's been used for people with this condition. And when you look closer, you will find little black or dark, darkly colored granules usually rimming around the outside of the eccrine coil. So I'll try to find a good picture of this and, uh, and insert here in the video later for the people who are online so you can see this properly. Maybe I can pull this slide uh, from the set. Uh, so uh, I, that's with those little, little uh, tiny specks here and uh, dots around the outside. And those are metal deposits. They are silver deposits. So what is this called? Argyria. Argyria. And Argyria is silver deposition in the skin. And in the, in the olden days, it was described, I think, in, in people that were like silver miners and that worked in silver mines and inhaled dust particles that had silver in it. And uh, we don't, I, at least in our area, don't think we have any silver mines uh, here. But uh, the times that, uh, that we do tend to see this in more modern days, uh, is that people uh, drink colloidal silver, uh, and if you consume large quantities of that, uh, you can develop argyria. And that's because some people believe there are some uh, health benefits of colloidal silver. I, I have not read anything scientific that has convinced me of that, but I'm sure someone online will argue with me about it. But the problem is, is that if you do this long enough, it will eventually deposit in your skin. And these little silver particles will make your skin have a blue gray appearance. And if you're watching this, you can Google Argyria and you will see some dramatic pictures in, in the Google image search of people with Argyria. And I have seen one person at like a farmer's market in real life, but like from across the street, I was like, whoa, Argyria. Either that or there are some drugs that can produce uh, pigment deposition in the dermis that give you that same uh, blue or slate gray appearance of the skin. And unfortunately, to my knowledge, it's uh, pretty much unreversible. Um, there may be some sort of treatments that, that are out there to try to diminish it. But um, once these metal deposits are there, they're not going away, basically. So um, if you are someone who consumes large quantities of colloidal silver, you may want to, you know, at least uh, do some research on that. And keep in mind that Argyria is a side effect you may not desire. So, yes, the little deposits are there. And uh, in general, metal particles um, in the skin uh, uh, will look like little black dots uh, there because, you know, the light doesn't pass through them. So they look very, very dark. Or I think on this scan, they're kind of looking almost brown color, but they're kind of a brownish to black, slightly refractile sometimes um, uh, deposits. Gold can have a similar appearance. We don't, I don't think I've ever seen a case of gold deposition, but in like the like 70s or the 80s, um, uh, people took gold-based drugs uh, for like rheumatoid arthritis. 
uh, took gold for a while. I remember that as a kid thinking that was kind of wild before the age of biologics. There were some drugs like that. I'm not sure if gold drugs are still used at all anymore, but it's something that can give you a similar um, appearance to Argyria. So that's Argyria silver deposition. Very rare uh, to encounter in, in my practice at least.